Okay, everybody's going to read for you again today. Uh, what we're doing, you're working off of a handout. Of course, you will find that under your classroom um, part of your uh, Google Classroom. And you will have 10 questions. Two of them are math. They're simple. Just remember the um, uh, formula. You, you, you subtract the uh, begin time from the end or distance from the uh, begin from the end, divide by time. Remember, time is measured in seconds. One of them is trying to trick you, okay? All right, here we go. When we discussed velocity and speed, we assumed a constant velocity. However, this is rarely the case in the real world. In the real world, the velocity of an object is in motion is often changing. Okay. Uh, that's what we talked about yesterday with the baseball, softball, whatever. Okay, that's what we talked about. Uh, it changes periodically on its travels. All righty. Acceleration is a measurement of change in an object's velocity. When you press down on the gas pedal on a car, the car surges forward going faster and faster. This changes the velocity and acceleration. Alrighty, Braxton. The equation for calculating acceleration is acceleration equals change in velocity slash change in time, or A equals triangle V <laughs> divided by triangle T. How to measure acceleration. The Thank standard you. unit of measurement for acceleration is meters per second squared or m slash s uh, two. Okay. You can calculate this from above formula where velocity is the meters per second and time is in seconds. Okay. Now that made it sound a whole lot more difficult than it needed to be. Just remember what we talked about yesterday. Uh, again, subtract the um, end time from the beginning time, or the beginning time from the end time, excuse me, and then divide by ever how many seconds it took to achieve that. Okay, Evie, you wanna read? Uh, acceleration is a vector. In physics, acceleration not only has a magnitude, which is the m slash s to the second power number we discussed above, but also has a direction. This makes acceleration a vector. Okay. And Rihanna, you had your hand up, and then Brady will come back. I'm not, I'm sorry, Caleb, mm -hmm. we'll come back to you. Newton's second law of motion states that the force on an object equals the mass times the acceleration. This is written in the following question. Force equals mass, star thingy, acceleration, or F equals a MA. We can use the, this formula to also figure out the acceleration if we know the mass and force on an object. This formula is acceleration equals force slash mass or A equals FM. Okay. All right. Caleb? When an object is changing velocity by a constant amount over time, this is called constant acceleration. An object with constant positive acceleration will be going faster and faster. Its velocity will be increasing constantly. Uh, so here's an example of constant acceleration. So at the first second, you might be going five meters a second square. And then the second one, which, which would equal 10 meters per second. Yeah, so, you're, so you're increasing as you go. Yeah, and in the second know. second, you would be going 15 there meters per second, and in the third second, you would be going 20 yeah, meters so per as second. Yeah, so what we talked about yesterday, uh, think back to the bicycle going down the hill, okay? Mr. West, can you put your chair down considering your own film? And if you fall back, now, you know, we don't have a leg to stand on if you try to get me in trouble. Uh, yes, dear. Can I read? Sure, why not? Free fall, a type of acceleration. One example of constant acceleration is an object in free fall. During free fall, gravity applies a constant force on the object, causing a constant increase in velocity. If you were to measure the distance an object fell, each second it would fall further because it is constantly picking up speed. 
Okay. Um, you're talking about free fall. Uh, they're going, I think they refer to a, a skydiver here in, in the next one. Um, anyone who um, skydives comes out at about uh, like 10,000 feet and they free fall. Uh, we're going to talk about how fast they actually get, but eventually they actually top out. They don't keep getting faster and faster. They will top out at a speed, but that speed is pretty incredible. Yeah. In the real world, world, there would be an additional force of air friction on the object. At some point, the object would reach terminal velocity. This means that it would be no longer accelerate and the speed of the fall would stay the same. The term, terminal velocity of a skydiver falling face down is around 122 miles per hour. Okay. So terminal velocity, which means that's as fast as he's going to get. Okay. Eventually he tops out. He will not get any faster, but he's falling at 122 miles per hour. That's a, that's a serious fall right there. Yes. Can I read? Yes. Uh, the average acceleration is the total change in velocity divided by the total time. This can be found using the equation A equals triangle V divided by triangle T. For example, if the velocity of an object changes from 20 meters per second to 50 meters per second over the course of five seconds, the average acceleration would be A equals 50 meters per second minus 20 meters per second divided by five. 30 meters per second divided by five equals six meters per second squared. Okay, and that's, that's how you do it. Now the triangles that everybody keeps talking about, that is a symbol in physics. We're not really going to get into all the symbols and things. They're not going to be on your test. They're not on your homework questions or anything. Uh, I'll save something for uh, Ms. Founds and Mr. Feeney to uh, teach you. I, I wouldn't want you to know everything before you get there. Yes? Can I read? Sure. When the velocity of an object decreases, this is called deceleration. It may also be represented by a negative, by a negative acceleration. This means the direction or vector of the acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction of the movement of the object. For example, if the velocity of an object changes from 40 meters a second to 10 meters per second over time, over a time interval of two seconds, the average acceleration would be A equals 10 meters per second minus 40 meters per second divided by two. 30 meters per second divided by two equals 15 meters per second. This would also be a deceleration of 15 meters per second. Negative 15 yeah, meters you know, you per second. Yeah, you notice that that's also a negative because anytime you're trying to subtract 40 from 10, you're going it's to end up going into negative, negative numbers. Uh, okay, now again, this is not going to be on your test. Uh, some of you are into integers right now, and if you're in free algebra, some of you are not. Uh, and so we're not going to incorporate that in uh, to our little science class here because, some, like I say, some of you uh, have never have never done that. Okay. All right. Was that it? Was that all of it? Okay. All right. All right. I hope y'all enjoy getting to see your classmates every now and then. They enjoy trying to read out loud. Okay. Bye bye.